In this video, we're going to take a close look at the finances of the Blender Foundation, which is a non-profit foundation which develops the software Blender. And we're going to take a look at where the money comes from, how it is used, and what the founder is paid. Whether you consider donating to Blender, or you're just interested in how Blender is funded, I'm sure this video will be of interest. Ever since Blender went from looking like this, to looking like this in 2019 with Blender 2.8, Blender has become a lot more popular, as you can see with the number of downloads. So how has this increased popularity affected the income of the Blender Foundation? So let's take a look at the income in 2022. The 2023 numbers will come in around August 24. And in the meantime, we can see that the yearly income has gone from a bit below 1 million euros to over 2 million euros in just four years. I could not find any published data before 2019, but I'm sure it was much lower in the years prior. Now, when it comes to the source of this increase in income, it is mainly from the increase in corporate donations. Those who have been in the Blender community for a while might remember the huge influx of corporate patrons around 2021, and that is the greatest source of this increase in uh, income for the Blender Foundation. And as you can see, there are currently a lot of very large corporations supporting the Blender Foundation, which helps the income of the Blender Foundation greatly. And in 2022, 71% of the income of the Blender Foundation was from corporate donations. The rest of the income is from Blender users, either direct donations from individual users or indirect donations through Blender market sales. 29% of the income of the Blender Foundation is of course not insignificant, so individual donators help the foundation a lot as well. Okay, so how is the money spent? The majority of the money goes to developer pay and overhead, which is the offices, computers, and so on for the developers. We're also going to take a look at the salary of the chairman, which is the founder, and 5.8% uh, goes to maintaining the blender.org website. And there's also some costs related to the Blender conference, travel costs, and so on, but the majority goes straight to development. So uh, what is the founder of Blender paid? In 2022, he was paid 118,000 euros. Now, while this is definitely not starvation wage, it is a lot less than leaders for other software like Adobe or Autodesk. So I think it's a fair wage for his responsibilities. Now, when it comes to the development costs, Blender spends a lot more on development since the income has been increasing in the later years. So when Blender gets more donations, you're also going to get more developers and uh, more money spent on development for Blender. In conclusion, I would definitely say that Blender is in a positive feedback loop where the increased funding means more developers, which means more downloads as the quality of the software increases, which again means more funding and more developers. I hope you found this video interesting and I will post more Blender content very soon.